Well, hello, fellow constitutionists. Welcome to the Dan Clements Show, a Christian political talk show. I'm your host, Dan Clements, your constitutional warrior, fighting for your right just to be an American. It is October 31st in the year of the Lord 2020. We are hyphen-free, PC-free zone, mask-free zone. God is still in control and he does love you. And remember, 2 Corinthians 5, 10 through 11, where we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may be recompensed for his deeds in the body according to what he has done, whether good or bad. Therefore, knowing the fear of the Lord, we persuade men. I am broadcasting from the Hemlock Studios here in the beautiful central Susquehanna Valley in the great Keystone State. And today we're going to talk about polls. Uh, I'm so sick of polls. Every time I hear them on the news, I turn them off. Um, uh, the name of this episode is Election Polls Are a Scam. They are set up to give Hayden uh, Hayden Biden cover. Okay. And it, w as if he doesn't have enough cover in his basement. I was watching, I was just, I was preparing for this video, putting this video together. And I was just listening to the background. Didn't catch the guy's name. Uh, some guy uh, has been, he said he's been predicting, his, him and his team have been predicting correctly uh, the, the presidential election since 1984, I think he said. Um, whether that's true or not, I'm not even going to go back and look because I hate polls that much. Uh, but uh, he has metrics that he uses uh, that that actually sound better than what they're doing now, you know, asking people. But his metrics, he admitted to this Fox um, reporter, which she had a really weird look on her face when he told her this. He's pretty much basing his polling on the last six to eight months, you know, it's the economy and foreign, you know, uh, uh, you know, the foreign affairs and all, you know, there's a bunch of different stuff. I'm going to try to look him up and look at that and, and maybe do a video on that also. But you can't, I'm like, this is what's wrong with polls today. You can't just take a snapshot like that and say, Hey, this is the way it's going to be. You just can't do that. And, so basing it on the last six months, I, I don't know. I'm going to go on a limb here and say he's wrong. Uh, and I don't think I'm going out on much of a limb anyway, and I'm going to make a prediction. And, and it's not based on, you know, any polling that I've done. It's based on anecdotal observations that I've made uh, about uh, sizes of crowds going to meet President Trump, whether COVID's going on or not. They're not afraid. And also the enthusiasm for President Trump. Those two things. I, I predict he's going he's gonna to take the Electoral College in a landslide, and I think he's going to take the popular vote um, this time uh, with the electoral vote. And I think it's going to be in such a, uh, such a margin, there's no way that Joe Biden is going to win. However, let me, put, let me put something in your ear. Uh, if you remember back in August, Hillary Clinton was doing an interview uh, with Jennifer... Uh, Palinari, she's a Democrat uh, strategist and a contributor to the circus. It's some Showtime show, and um, it's the website she was on or the news site she was on call, is called the Recount. Uh, and she was doing this interview with Hillary, and I'll, I'll let you listen to the video here in a few seconds. But um, even this idea that that Hillary put in the Democrats' head, especially the Joe Biden campaign, I think is a very dangerous one. And I'll let you listen to it. And most of you probably know what it is, but let me uh, let me let you listen to it. And I have about three or four comments I want to make afterwards on this. If it's a close election, like say Biden, you know, win, you know, say Biden wins, what do you think Trump will do? Look, I think that they have a couple of scenarios that they're looking at. Uh, toward. One is messing up absentee balloting. Right. Of course. You know, they, yeah. they believe that helps them. Um, so that they then get maybe a narrow advantage in the Electoral College on Election Day. Uh, because remember, uh, we've, we've seen a couple of cases like in Wisconsin where they did everything they could to mess up voting. Uh, but because uh, courts had ordered uh, absentee ballots to be counted if they were postmarked on election day, uh, Democrats actually won uh, uh, some important uh, races there. In the recent Michigan primary, I was told in Detroit, the Republicans had 40 lawyers challenging absentee mail-in voting. 
and a local reporter talking to one of the lawyers he knew was told it was a dry run uh, for November. So we've got to have a massive legal operation. I know the Biden campaign is working on that. We have to have poll workers, and I urge people who are able to uh, be a poll worker. We have to have our own uh, teams of people to counter the the force of intimidation that the Republicans and Trump are going to put outside polling places. This is a big organizational challenge, but at least we know more about what they're going to do. And, you know, Joe Biden should not concede under any circumstances because I think this is going to drag out. And eventually, I do believe he will win if we don't give an inch and if we are as focused and relentless as the other side is. Hi, Chihuahua. (laughs) Hi, Damien. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. I I really don't like listening to that lady, that woman. Uh, What a liar. Uh, Projecting every everything she was saying there about intimidation and and you know about the messing up the ballots and all that kind of stuff that's everything that the the democrats are doing all right let's go down through there she was talking about the messing with absentee ballots in wisconsin i don't believe it was absentee ballots i think it was the mail-in ballots and each campaign i don't care if it's democrat republican constitution party uh if you got a dog in this race libertarian party uh, you should be allowed to have uh, not only poll workers, but a presence at the counting place. And that's what she's talking about with these messing these absentee ballots. It's not the mess, mess. It's not the absentee ballots. It's the mail-in ballots. That's what we have a question about because this is something that was pushed because of the COVID. Everybody, uh, you know, everybody's scared of COVID nineteen. The response to this by the lamestream media has everybody jumping at shadows. It's been totally politicized because they couldn't get Trump on the on the Russian hoax. They couldn't, they impeached him, but they couldn't to remove him. And the thing is, they impeached him for something that uh, Joe and Hunter Biden and their family's doing. Uh, and uh, I, it's under criminal investigation right now. So I hope something happens there. You know, here we have a, you know, lamestream media is not even reporting on this stuff. You know, what malfeasance. And, and I think it's almost criminal. Uh, but anyway, getting back to this, it's it's not the absentee ballots, it's these stinking mail-in ballots. Now, um, just an aside, a couple of sides here. One, I used to, when I was driving a truck, I used to vote absentee ballot. And I remember when I'd go in there to request my, every time, you know, I voted uh, absentee ballot, I, in the primaries, uh, when I was a Republican, I'm not anymore, I'm a Constitution Party member, but uh, I'd show my ID, fill out the absentee ballot, seal it there, and give them back to them. Uh and so it's not absentee ballot. These mail-in ballots, they're not requiring any ID. Some states, uh, they're, they're uh, I can't remember, was, was it Michigan maybe? Uh, that they, the court said that the, the, the signatures don't have to match what's on your, your voter card. And I'm like, what? What are, you, what are you talking about? This is why I think we need to really have a national voter ID. We need to, pa- if, if the Republicans take the House and the Senate and Trump wins, I think one of the things they should push through uh, over any Democrat um, objections is a voter ID. National, just a voter ID that requires a voter ID. Don't, doesn't mean you have to have a federal ID. It just requires a photo ID in order to vote at the poll and, and to register, period. And end of sentence, go on to the next paragraph, okay? Now, she went on. Hillary went on to talk about Detroit, and she slipped in there a little bit about the popular vote. She's still crying about that. And let me remind you folks that uh, presidents are elected through the uh, Electoral College, okay, the Electoral College. I did a video earlier today about an op-ed that uh, uh, Elizabeth Warren did on Now This News, and she talked about that, you know, this uh, president that's not even popularly elected. You know, and they're still crying the blues about that. But anyway, we go on to the second point about Detroit, Michigan. 40 Republican lawyers took a look at the absentee ballots. Okay. Now, these lawyers usually are not at the polls. These lawyers are usually at where they count the votes. 
to make sure no shenanigans go on, uh, you know, and, and everything's up above board. And so the someone said, and she didn't say where she heard it. Um, I don't know if it's true, but, you know, they said they heard one of the lawyers saying, well, they just this is just dry run for November. Well, I don't believe that. You know, because they should be there looking at how the, how the ballots are counted at all. The primaries, the generals, the whole nine yards, the presidential election, they should be there. And Hillary thinks this is, and this is my thir her third point she made in there, talks about Republican intimidation. She thinks having all these lawyers around these places is, is intimidating. It's like, what? We have to make sure the vote is accurate. There's a whole website called True the Vote. She has a, I can't remember her name off the top of my head, but she uh, she has a bunch of YouTube videos and blogs and stuff like that, and her whole thing is about making sure the vote is true and accurate. That's why the, the Voting Act, talking about cleaning the voter rolls. You know, Democrats go crazy over that. You know, these people hadn't voted in years and years and years. There's some old videos on my on my channel here uh, on on YouTube where I was talking about this guy in Ohio. He was in the military. He came back. He didn't vote for a while. So they cleaned him off the rolls. He went in, and he wasn't on the rolls, but he was able to, uh, for the primaries, able to cast a provisional ballot. And then between the primary and the general, which was months, he didn't go, and, he didn't go get registered. And the same thing happened in the, in the general election. And it's like, dude, what are you crying about? You know, you, and it, he was in front of the Supreme Court when they're talking about this case and stuff like that. And I said, this guy was just crying about something he could have took care of. You know, and this is SOP for the Democrats. And, and the SOP is they project what they're actually doing on other people so that the uh, people looking at things uh, actually look away from them. You know, it's like, this is what we're actually doing, but I want you to look over here so you don't see what we're doing. You know, you look and see what they're doing. You know, childish, just childish. And folks, cheating, lying, that's sinful behavior. And, and, and everybody expects it out of politicians. You know, I grew up expecting it out of politicians. I'm thinking when I became a Christian and I got to thinking about it, really got into politics, I'm like, no, I don't expect that out of our politicians. I expect them to be better than that. I don't care which side of the aisle they're on. They shouldn't be lying. They shouldn't be uh cheating people they shouldn't be using taxpayer monies to pay off um sexual harassment uh, cases and stuff like that which has happened in the past nothing ever happened to it you know the uh and this whole thing with the election i, I if there's malfeasance what's going to happen i mean the track record on the department of justice and and other entities that are supposed to be law enforcement in our country they're not they don't have a real good track record lately you know, they, they have, to me, it seems to me they haven't been doing their job. And I believe these polls are going to give Hunter or uh, Biden, Biden cover for when Donald Trump wins the election and the Republicans sweep in the House and the Senate, you know, increase the seats in the Senate and uh, sweep sweep in a majority in the in the House. Uh, Joe Biden's going to be after screaming, I'm not conceding. I was ahead in the polls. Now look what happened. I talked to my wife about this. I says, am I crazy for saying this or even thinking that? And she's like, no, I don't, th I don't think so. She goes, matter of fact, that makes a lot of sense why these polls don't make any sense out there at all. My encouragement to you is do not be afraid of COVID-19. not going to kill you. Put your mask on or your face shield. I wear a face shield. I don't wear a mask. I got a face shield that fits onto my ball cap. And I also have one of the sweat band that I wear uh, to church uh, when I go to worship God. But do that. If you can go to Walmart, you can go to the polls in person and vote. But just get out and vote. I don't care if you're Republican or Democrat. Get out and vote. Exercise that right because a lot of countries don't have the rights that we have here, folks. They just don't. So get out and vote. Uh, I don't participate in any telephone polls or anything like that. Um, uh, you know, push polls, whatever. I just, I, I don't. You know, because I don't want my I don't want that information twisted. I don't want the I don't want the pollsters to use it for nefarious reasons, you know. So I just I don't participate in it. I think the best poll is the one on November third. You know, that's the only poll I care about. What's gonna happen there? Who's gonna win the electoral college? I don't care about the popular vote. Who's gonna win the electoral college, folks? So get out and vote. 
Uh, this has been the Dan Clemens Show. I'm your host, Dan Clemens. Remember, subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification so when I put out new videos, which I'm, I'm trying to get more out <clears throat> lately here, um, so, you know, so you can see them. Please leave your comments. I love comments, you know, and, and uh, I'll go back and forth with you. I do read them, you know, and you know I read them because I, uh, if I don't comment, I at least give you a thumbs up or thumbs down if I agree with you, if I don't agree with you. So, uh, and all my links to all my social media is going to be down below. Uh, and the link to this uh, video clip I'll have, I'll have down below also. So I'll see you on the next video, folks. You guys have a great and wonderful evening.